Oh God, I just got water all over my sock. Okay. <laughs> what is up guys? It's your girl Maddie back here again with another video this week. And today we're going to be talking about YouTube addiction on YouTube because that makes total sense. So about a year ago, I posted a video called I Quit Social Media and I don't regret it. Yeah, I've been off of social media for the most part for almost a year now. When I say most part, I feel like YouTube has fallen into that category. Yes, I still watch YouTube. Obviously, I post on YouTube. One of the top comments in that video is this person that said, I feel like YouTube is the most insidious one out of them all. No one acknowledges how addictive it is. TikTok is addictive, but everyone knows it's bad because YouTube has a lot of educational content. People waste more time than they realize. I believe quitting YouTube is the real big move. That is totally true. YouTube is addictive. I feel like in recent years, it has become addictive, mostly because they now do shorts, which is very much like TikTok videos. I never mentioned that video. I never joined TikTok, but I, I know of TikTok. I'm glad I never joined TikTok, otherwise, yeah, that would be uh, kind of bad. <laughs> I noticed with shorts that you can get totally lost just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling on them. I get a habit of doing that, but I still do watch the longer form kind of videos. I do like longer form videos, especially when it comes to like commentaries about social issues, daily issues and stuff like that. It's almost kind of like the, the, the longer commentaries are kind of like podcast form. I feel like podcasts are now like a big thing, but YouTube in general, I feel like has become addictive because in the YouTube app on your phone, once you like scroll up to a video, it starts automatically playing the video. So you're kind of like watching the video, but not actually clicking on it. Or sometimes I'll open the app, it'll automatically be on shorts and start playing shorts right away. And I, I don't like that. The other thing is that I noticed that um, very rarely do I see my subscriptions show up on my home feed. It's like you have to go searching for that or I'll see like one or two of my subscriptions, especially if it's like somebody I watch most frequently will pop up. But other than that, it's kind of like YouTube's a grocery store. You just gotta keep finding stuff because I keep rearranging all the shelves. I'm kind of like, at war with myself right now because, you know, I, I never really thought of YouTube as addictive until I'd say in the past like five years it started becoming addictive to the point where, yeah, it takes up most of my screen time. In the quitting social media video, I did mention that like I wanted to reduce my screen time as well. I used to peak like eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 hours a day on my phone. And I had this goal that I would reduce it down to four hours a day. Once I moved, that goal kind of just like went out the window and I started resorting back to being on my phone for long periods of time throughout the day mostly because the time tracker app on my phone kind of just stopped working for some reason and wouldn't give me accurate like time marks or whatever. Um, mostly because like I need a new phone, this phone's like really old. So a lot of things are not working correctly on my phone anymore because I need a new phone. I was able to put it back on my phone and it works just fine. So I was able to see like how my screen time was. So like in the past couple of weeks, it's been like six, seven hours, which isn't as bad as before I quit social media. But like the outlier is YouTube. As you can see, YouTube takes up the entire screen time all the time. I just always have an urgent, like a tendency to open up the app, watch a video, scan through a video, read the comments. Oh, that was another thing. When you like, or you're on the homepage and you just go through YouTube, when you watch the video and it automatically starts playing, then like the comment, like one of the top comments will show up and it'll like make you want to read the comments. So then you have to click on the video to read the comments and like, oh my God, it's like coming up with more and more ways to click on a video and watch it and be on the app forever. And ugh. it's getting so hard because I feel like YouTube can be helpful and resourceful. It's slowly turning into like an addictive shopping mall. <laughs> That's like the other thing is that a lot of YouTube videos that I come across now, I feel like it's just one giant ad. You click on the video, ad pops up, two ads. It's always two ads, two ads pop up. Then you watch the video. And then in the middle of the video, they're like, this video is sponsored by blank, blank, blank. So what do you, you can't escape it. And then like, if you want to watch like a lifestyle YouTuber, they talk about all these products that they own. And it seems like lifestyle YouTubers go like the insane extreme. You'll have a collection of something, but they'll have like a whole fucking library. You know, it's not just like, oh yeah, I have 20 records. I have a thousand. You think you have a lot of stuff until you find somebody with a collection that has a bajillion things. 
or their entire house is white. All their furniture and dishware, everything they own, their clothes are just white. But like, that's their aesthetic. Like, that's the trend is everything's an aesthetic. Everything's a collection. Everything is a haul. You know, everything's bye, bye, bye. If you don't have a collection like mine, you're not gonna be happy, like, unless you buy this or like, I don't know. That, that, that's how I've been feeling lately. Like, YouTube's just a giant ad, you know? I was like, yo, I can't keep watching YouTube this much, you know, or I stopped watching certain channels that I felt like were just one giant ad, which sucks because you like watching somebody, but then you kind of get turned off by like certain extremes or you feel like you won't be as happy as that person because you don't own the things they own. At the end of the day, things don't buy you happiness. My last video, I bought a Nintendo Switch. Did that cure my infinite boredom? No. <laughs> like. To a certain extent, um, I did get into it, I still play it, but buying something is not gonna fill a void. It's not gonna fill a void of boredom or like make you happy. You know, you, you kinda gotta do a little bit more soul searching with that, not just buying a bunch of stuff and thinking it's gonna make your life better. Anyway, I'm going down like a total rabbit hole about that. So this past week I went back to my goal of just staying on my phone for no more than four hours a day. Here's a screenshot of what it ended up being. Uh, so I kind of cracked some days and went over four hours. Um, Saturday was the worst. I did go a bit over four hours. And there were two other days I went over by like four hours and five minutes, but uh, you know, it was it was kind of hard doing that. And I decided to replace, you know, watching YouTube or filling that boredom with putting my phone away, putting it in a different room, putting it in my backpack, you know, hiding my phone so it's not within view, but also replacing that YouTube time with something else. I started getting back into reading. I feel like I read a lot during the pandemic and I kind of missed those days where it just felt a little bit more simple that you know i'd go outside and read a book and go for a walk and just felt a bit more peaceful like i wasn't on my phone so much i read two and a half books so far this week you can realize how much time you have once you get off your phone you're like oh oh shit like i have more time than i realized at the end of the day all of us have the same 24 hours it's what we do with it you know are you gonna spend that 24 hours being on your phone 12 hours a day? Or are you gonna be a bit more productive and read a book, play a game, go outside, do some exercise? Something I just like wanted to address. I, I noticed that there are a few videos out there on YouTube that address that YouTube is addictive. You can't get rid of social media completely at the end of the day. Like it's still gonna exist out there. It's more so up to you whether or not you're gonna do something about it or you're just gonna let it consume your life. You know, I don't want to turn into a person who is just consumed by my phone all day. You know, we used to live in a time where cell phones, the internet didn't exist. There was less stress then. I, I didn't get a smartphone till beginning of college and I felt definitely less stressed and anxious then. And I feel like part of it now is cause of my phone, but also, the other thing that kind of sucks is that I like making YouTube videos at the end of the day. Um, especially like I've been doing shorts twice a week now. Um, they're just stupid little skits that I've been doing. And I like posting, you know, videos that get a lot of comments and discussions like quitting social media or getting a Nintendo Switch or whatever. Like, you know, I love interacting with people and having comments. So, you know, there's like pluses and minuses to YouTube, but you know, the goal for me at the end of the day is to not rely on YouTube or my phone so much where it consumes my life pretty much like a drug. I want to get to the point where like I don't have to rely on my phone so much and then when I do check the time tracker I realize oh shit I spent less time on my phone than like I have in the past. You know I don't become so reliant on it. You can't get rid of your cell phone but you can definitely try to find a better balance on how to spend some screen time but also spend the majority of your day away from your phone and not be so reliant on it. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I would love to discuss with you any ways to like improve your life and shit like that. So um, I don't know, it was just like, this, I just want this to be an open discussion to see like how you guys tackle uh, cell phone addiction and stuff like that. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this video. Smash that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this and smash that like button if you love this video. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, love you, bye.